Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 116. The word Origins today is raining cats and dogs. Yeah, I know, um, you know, ever since I was a teacher, you've often had students say, why do they say raining cats and dogs? Even in English, we think, raining cats and dogs, where did they get that from? But anyway, so today we will try to cover it. There's a, uh, there's a number of theories as to where it came from. And uh, well, let's look at the note here. Let's try to start looking at that. Uh, if someone says that it is raining cats and dogs, uh, he or she means it is raining extremely hard. Yeah, most of us know this. We're familiar with this older phrase. Uh, right, let's continue. There are several theories to the origin, but none are uh, none of them really can be confirmed with certainty. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the first one has to do with poor drainage during the 17th century in Europe. Uh, if the rain were extremely hard and it caused floods, uh, many cats and dogs, as well as a lot of other smaller animals, drowned in the flooding. Uh, and their bodies were left scattered in the street after the floods subsided. This does actually sound like a possibility that this could be where it came from. Um, there are two quotes from the poet Jonathan Swift uh, that relate to this theory. In 1710 poem called Description of a City Shower, he had this quote, drowned puppies, you know, the little dogs, stinking sprats, I think they're, they're a type of fish or herring or something, all drenched in the mud, dead cats and turnip tops came tumbling down the flood. All right, so you can kind of imagine what it might have looked like back at that time. His second quote was from 1738, you know, 28 years later. Uh, and here it is. I know, sir, John will go, though he was sure it would rain cats and dogs. So he actually used this phrase, too. Well, let's continue. Here's a second theory. Uh, second theory is that uh, it may be a corruption. Corruption means like a mispronunciation of something, of the, of the French word... Uh, uh, meaning waterfall. So the, the rain could be coming down like a waterfall. And cut the dope, or, you know, maybe if they didn't do it right, maybe cut the dope sounded like cats and dogs. Cut the, cut the dog, cut the dupe, cut the dogs, uh, something like that. Meaning waterfall, which came from the Greek, cat the dupe. All right, this sounds like a, maybe a possibility. Here is a third theory. Although some, quest, some do question this theory. So this one they may think is the least likely. But some say in the 16th century, many peasants' homes had thatched roofs, okay, uh, which, animals like, which animals like cats and dogs uh, would go on for shelter and comfort. But during heavy rains, uh, they would slide off. So in that sense, they're saying, you know, again, raining cats and dogs. Okay, and we do have a final theory here. Final theory is related to Norse mythology. You know, Odin, uh, the father of Thor, remember now the Avengers, Thor, he, remember Thor is the god of thunder. Okay, and his father, I guess, was, you know, the, the, the god of storms. Okay, uh, so Odin, the father of Thor, was the god of storms, and he was often pictured with dogs. Uh, according to North, Norse mythology, cats were believed to bring the rain and dogs the wind. So, I don't know. Sounds like a little bit of a possibility. All right, and we just give one example here. Uh, this is the way we still may hear it used today. You should wait out the storm. It's raining cats and dogs, or it's raining cats and dogs outside. Okay, anyway. Um, I hope you got it. I hope you found it interesting and informative. And, you know, one of these may be the real possibility of the origin for raining cats and dogs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.